from struggling to secure capital to winning clients, African entrepreneur faced challenges in 2016, but many thrived despite it all. Tiana Shama left her home in the U.S. to return home. She is a busy Liberian entrepreneur. She sells African print designs locally and abroad, and showing other Liberians that there are opportunities back home. It was an opportunity to have a nice space for people to be able to try on clothes, to shop comfortably, um, to not have to barter on your prices. And it also was an opportunity for me to show people that Liberians could set up a nice establishment. In Nigeria, Wilson Juice Company made lemonade for sale following a government push to get people to buy more Nigerians' products after a fall in the currency, Naira. People are, are clamoring and hammering about um, the evaluation of the Naira. The economy is slowing down, so many things go wrong, and we just see this as an opportunity. We've seen it for years, but now we believe this is the time for us to really shine. In South Africa, a strawberry farm is on the fight to export strawberries to anywhere in the world. If it was uh, easy to grow and easy to sell, everybody would be doing it. The fact that not many people are doing it tells you that at some stage there's a high element of risk, and the risk part of it is the production side. Despite a flat leading economy, some entrepreneurs like Jennifer Rupia in Zimbabwe are still able to stay afloat as larger businesses struggle to compete. Jennifer says she wants to encourage other women to follow her lead and challenge themselves in areas considered a preserve for men.